It's, it's so loud! Capcom, why? why? No! Twice in the same year? Come on! Stop it! Hey, wait. That looks fa Huh. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Doesn't that look familiar? It does! Wow! Wow! But, uh... But we already did this! Or you already did this, but... Technically, we haven't. Resident Evil DS, the one that we did, is a remake of the original Resident Evil 1. Right. With a couple added ditties for the DS era, yeah, something like that. So, D so DS cut. I did Resident Evil Remake, which is a remake of the original Resident Evil. We have never played the director's cut, which was Capcom saying sorry for delaying Resident Evil 2. So let's go. I always thought that Resident Evil DS was enough for the original. Because it was basically the original, right? But They added an extra difficulty mode. I believe it's training mode, which was added. Some of the zombies are faster, and some of the music tracks are lovely. <clears throat> Ahem. Yes. Different, I think, is the word. So, still got Chris. Still got Jill. Depending on who you pick, that's your difficulty, in a sense. But with the added difficulties, that kind of becomes null and void. Chris still comes with six uh, inventory slots, and Jill comes with eight. So who who are we thinking? Uh, you're in control here. You know it's better than I do, so... Oh, trust me, you want to make this choice. I'll go Jill, then. Okay. I feel like more stuff happens in her profile. You are absolutely right. Also, we get Barry, love. That was the determining factor, really? Yep. Without Barry, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> 1998, holy crap, that's a million years ago. I'll never forget it. I remember. I remember these were the types of games I wasn't allowed to play. Forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared. Did they artificially add in camera shake? How cute. This is adorable. And not seeing it with DS compression is so much better. In Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of bizarre murders committed in Raccoon City. <gasps> what are they committed to? Victims were apparently committed relationships by biting their partners' the necks and disappeared. Look, Chris. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But most of the equipment was still there. Jean-Claude Van Damme? However, we soon discovered why. Claire Redfield? Tara Reed? Oscar Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> the fast zoo. The Sam fast pans. Sam Raimi? That's right, get the camera all in the puppy's face. <gasps> Isn't that an old dinosaur sound effect? Well, I mean, we have uh, special agents that sound like cheetahs, so... But these are like actual dogs. <laughs> Get some Rottweilers, put them in red paint, there we go. No! Don't go! I heard gunshots, I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace! Hey, wait, where are we being chased? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right! Alright, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I think Wesker almost tripped. Whoa, whoa, falling, falling. Chris, help, 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 Chris, help, ah! It's only a model. Shh. <gasps> One second thought. Let's not go to the Octa Mansion. It is a silly place. Right, right. <laughs> Here's our cast and crew. Chris, Chris Redfield. Redfield. Blood type blurry. It's age... Uh, height... Height one centimeter. Oh my god. Age... 
think that's 23. Uh, okay, yeah, I can kind of see that. Very age zero zero. Uh, I think I think it says 98. 98. Okay, that sounds about right for Barry. Rebecca, age one. That's, that, that says 10. Oh, age sure. 10. That yeah, says right, 10. Right. right. That makes sense. Albert Wesker, Wesker. age 375. That's actually an overflowing mm. integer there. <laughs> Resident we hit the kill Evil. screen in Resident Evil. It's 3,600,000. They have escaped into the mansion. Where they thought it was safe. Yet. Yet. It was unsafe. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? How do we survive in this era? Stop it! The Don't first Resident Evil game door. I ever played was Remake. So, well, mine was 4. What is it? And then Remake. Maybe. And then, so, what the hell am I doing? Back to 4 I go. So we Captain, never started go, with the old I'm games. And I'm kind of glad Chris we didn't, because this may now. have made it to where I never had okay. a channel. Let me handle this. Unless we just wanted to riff on it the entire time, which is basically what Resident Evil DS is. Isn't that what we're doing the entire time Stay anyway? Alert. Uh, half riff, half walkthrough. We come with love. But in the Save case of Resident Evil Survivor, that was a full riffing session. Yeah. It deserved it. All right. We're in. I can't say every project we've done has been uh, specifically out of Dying love. Room. There are some that were quite the opposite. And this is one of them. Here you go, bud. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Here you go, bud! Oh, you asshole. Make it to the basement! Yeah, you remember how you talked about there being analog version? This wasn't the version! There is a version that specifically adds analog controls! And we're not playing that one! <laughs> how do I run? What? I think you hold down circle. What is this? What is it? I've played enough Come Resident on. Evil games. It's your time now. I played enough of them too! <laughs> I'm there with you for most of them! I'll not on the internet, this. baby! I've got you beaten in those. This is not Chris's blood. Chris's blood? I was, I oh, was no. there for five! We played six together! <laughs> we did. And now I want to see how you do in PlayStation 1 Resident Evil territory. So why don't you stay in here? Never mind. Uh, we're going to the first zombie. Am I going the right way? Yeah, you're going the right way. All right, you're gonna just yeah. Hold, I still hold, remember the layout. Just hold my hand on where to go, and I'll I'll deal with your first. Oh, uh, oh, press oh, start. Oh Jesus! Equip that gun, please. There we go. Now walk a little forward. There we go. Mm. Mm. <gasps> they took out the headless part. Director's cut, indeed. Oh my God! Yeah, because you see, you can you can see he lost his head anyway. Wow! I didn't know that. Huh? Barry, help! Barry, there's a mean guy chasing me. Help! What is it? Watch out. It's With all the urgency in the world, what is it? Hot damn! What is it? <laughs> Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. I mean, we kind of saw it. Anyway, we all ran to the same house at the Wesker. same time. How do we all get split up? I don't know. Maybe Chris was just like, I'll go through the back, I guess. Okay, you guys go into the main door where it's safe. I'm going to go around and see if there's a side door somewhere. I mean, maybe he, like, ran to try and get the dogs to go to a different area. All right, where to now? Uh, just go ahead and head back out into the hallway. We need to go check with Wesker. Square run. Hey, there's square. Oh, that... That must feel strange. So part of the problem I have with, uh, the... This kind of PlayStation D-pad is that it hurts my thumb. Yes. WESKER! Yeah, because this isn't the analog version of the first game, we need to use the D-pad. Which... If you've been playing any modern games lately, barely any game uses the D-pad. Uh, so what you can do to speed this process up is go up the stairs and then come right back down. Because the stairs is its own God, separate, separate God, living zone. God! God! Press God. X. Oh. 
Yeah, we can't actually go upstairs yet. Oh, sorry that I that I believe that if I go up a, a flight of stairs, I have to actually... T test one thing for me. Yeah. Press back in square. There is no quick turn yet. Okay, cool. All right, back down the stairs. And now, we, the master of unlocking, are going to get our lockpick. I hope I never get to... Uh... Poor help, poor enough health where I have to walk Find down the steps like that. Ow. Ow. What is uh, this or maybe just being old. Can't it out at all. Well, I want to get to the point where if I'm old, I can too. still walk down the stairs now with relative speed. Yeah. Disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Let's split up for okay. clues. Yeah, we've got two side. dead members. I don't think splitting up is a good idea here. Gigantic. And also missing or third. Yeah, trouble, so... We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. <gasps> he said the thing! He said the thing! Oh my god! Thanks. Maybe I'll need Thanks. it. Thanks. So I'm curious, follow Barry. I want to see what happens. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Okay. But something has happened, Barry. <laughs> You're this leaving me. Be there. Yeah, so I want to see what happens if you try to go through the same door. Oh my god, it's taking me back. Tanky. Oh. All right, so Barry should be gone. Fuck to you. Yes, he is. This shit. <laughs> All right, uh, head back through the door. Uh, the uh, not the not that door, but the other door where you saw the first zombie. Oh, that door. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna head straight to the basement. Oh. And then I'll okay. and then I'll take over for you. Oh no. You wanted to throw a gimmick behind it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I think you have one zombie in this hallway, which is why I asked you to take your gun out. Yep, should be to your right. Oh, he's not here yet. Okay. Uh, all the way at the end of the hallway, go through that door. Oh, uh, yeah, you can still, still do the stutter step. Uh, sh uh, locked from the inside. How about the red door? Use the lockpick. This might be piano room, if memory serves. Because it's got a special door. Yeah, it's piano room. Alright, so they have locked away the basement. That's very interesting. A I'd... fine grand piano. Indeed it is. I think the only reason you can't play it is because you don't have sheet music. All right. Uh, regular route would denote to go through the blue door from the main hallway. I'm glad we've come a long way from uh, this to modern survival horror. Yeah, now it actually wins game of the year, or is on the for game of the year awards. Oh, you love to see it. It actually has green numbers on Metacritic. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing. People actually like survival horror games now. They're not just seen as a big old pile of garbage. We always liked him, though. We always did. Oh, I always did. Yeah. But for the casual audience... They, they kept adding more superfluous bullshit to survival horror games, trying to make them seem like just more violent action-adventure games, and that's not how they work. They took Resi 7 to kick everybody in the pants and say, here's how it's supposed to be done, then they go, oh! Was that before or after uh, they, uh, survival horror was canceled? Oh, if you want a special cutscene, try going through the front door. That was, uh... See, Survival Horror was, I think, cancelled in, like, 2014 because, uh... Dead, blah, Space, blah, blah, blah. Dead Space 3 didn't do so well. Yeah. So, it's done. And then Resi 7 comes out and says, Yeah, no, no, we can do it. It's it's still fine. It's still here. Alright, so... You guys are just lazy. Through the... <laughs> it's either that or... Wait, what do you mean people didn't want to buy all the stuff for Dead Space 3? Survival Horror's dead! Either that or they, uh... Made a survival horror game and expected Call of Duty numbers, which you can't do that. Nah, not until Biohazard. You can't make a Jason film and expect the Conjuring box office, okay? So, up there is the map. I think we have some ammo back in here, but I think there's also a zombie. 
So if you want to continue on the way forward to see Barry again, uh, just go through the door on your right. This door? Correct. Ugh. How <laughs> did we survive? <laughs> How did we live with ourselves? We adapt, some of us better than others. Because I still think this control scheme is trash. I think you might get dogs. Yep, dogs. Ah! There's most likely, yep, ah! another one coming through. So, dodging, bob and weave, bob and weave, there we go. Serpentine. Okay. So now we should be in the hallway, yep. Stare directly into the face of death. Oh, she has a different idol animation. Shout! <laughs> like, oh! <laughs> This is why we put the safety on, Jill. I do that joke too much. Holding, holding gun casually, it goes off. Uh, bathroom doesn't have anything, so we're good there. Uh, we can probably actually get the uh, Jill sandwich scene right now. So head directly into the next door. Uh, it'll be on your left. After we test collision detection, of course. There we go. Bah, right there. It just feels so unnatural. It does. It's it's very bad. And to think that Alone in the Dark stumbled so that Resident Evil could walk and run. <laughs> to think that Alone in the Dark could stumble so that Resident Evil 1 could... Start something. Still stumble. Yes. <laughs> I got it. I got it. No, oh, no, wait. Nope, nope. Oh, oh, oh. You know how... Trip, 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 trip. Yeah, you know how you're walking down a hill and you, mi you start missing steps and then it just slowly uh, turns into, you know, ass over tea kettle. Nothing unusual here. A tape stream. But there is a shotgun in here. That's a nice freebie. Oh, yeah. Give me that good stuff. I do like how this kind of started the, uh... The whole, uh... I think in, in, in Resident Evil, where the shotgun is always like, Ta-da! Ta-da! Well, I mean, it's a bigger... More badass guns. Great. It can kill zombies in one hit. I mean, if done right. This is the game that popularized. I got a shotgun. I got a shotgun. Uh-oh. Now, you gotta quickly check both doors. Shit. Okay, that one's locked. Okay, now check the other one. And now, back up. Check other door. Okay. And now... Hopefully, Barry should come to save you. Yep, hey, there we go. What's going on? <laughs> well, uh, I think you're winning the lottery, hon. Oh happened? my god, Jill's making a sandwich? Barry? Dead Rising 1 Barry? remaster when? Door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. That's a mean this foot you got there, Barry. Right. Moment of silence, please. Say the line, Barry. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Yes! My life. That's what we were here for. That's, That's what we've been, been waiting, waiting for. <laughs> Back to the dining room to do some research. Why on earth are you here? See, I don't even remember half the lines that are said in this game. Only the meme ones. Something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Boy, do I love the way that they move around. Yeah, they're moving no mouth movement, but just pantomime. Yeah. I think Metal Gear Solid did it the best, because they would still, like, pose like they're, but, you know, still... But, but they would just kind of just jitter a yeah, little bit. Yeah, jitter around, head would move a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and that still holds up, I think. I still have some love in my heart for the original Resident Evil, mainly the remake, because that's the one I played the most. But, uh, this one, special place in my heart. Uh, is it X? There it is. Oh, keep firing. Trust me. There we go. Alright, uh, as soon as it falls, run through the door. This door? Yep. There we go. And now there should be one more zombie, so I want you to, uh, pull out your shotgun. And there should be auto-aim on right now. The zombie's coming towards you. Aim upward. And then when it gets close enough, fire. Yes! One shot, one kill. That's how you take care of a majority of the zombies in this game. Let's go for that headshot. There might be another one to your right. There is not. Okay. Uh, there is a green nerve right there and a save room. 
right there underneath the stairs. You know, I really don't want to lose everything that we've done up until now. It's, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in any tank-controlled Resident Evil game, after all. And that was the main point. So let's, let's get you in there, sport. So that's all this was, huh? Just to get me to play tank controls, eh? Honestly, this was thought of uh, the moment we press reset on my PS2. I was thinking, what if I had oh. UDJ play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. We don't have any ink ribbons! I hate this! Uh, there might be one in this room. Uh, ye what do we get? The fertilizer? Okay. Or the chemical. The sh the chemical. Hi, chemical. Uh, there should be an ink ribbon in the box. Uh -huh. Ooh, some ammo. Good to know, good to know. No ink ribbons, really? Really? Is there none in this room? There's gotta be some in this room. Well... Looks like we're or raw dogging it, it. Or is it on the table? I don't know. No, I'll figure something out. I've, I've given you the best tip I can give you, which is aim up and fire. That's the easiest thing to uh, to do to get rid of zombies. There might be two of them up the stairs. I have to... Actually... This is before going upstairs was invented. It's before <laughs> stairs were real, right? I know, yes. I think the funniest thing is, if it does it here, the second set of stairs you can actually walk up. Oh, yeah, you have to press X to transition. All right. Test. Here's a zombie. Now. Good. Uh, there... M it might just be in Chris's... Oh, wait, there is another one. Okay. Hi. So, in this version, the zombies are faster. So, if you want to lead them down here... Come on, big boy. Come and get me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Zombies are slow and stupid. <laughs> Just lovely commentary coming from Dead Rising. Nice. Good job, dude. I'm doing it. You're doing it. I'm really doing it. <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> All right, where, where now? Uh, so there's a few later game items in here. You might be able to find some ammo in the room uh, if you keep going down this hallway. We Nope, no zombie, okay. Sometimes there's a zombie at the end of this hallway. And uh once you get in here, uh as long as it's safe, uh go ahead and reload your gun to get rid of uh one of those clips or to, do my, or to help combine it. How do my reload? So you can actually combine the two clips, you should be able to. Oh, this is dumb. Ugh. Ugh, gross. Alright, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the fireplace room. Okay, this will show up later. Uh, head through the red door. Can't remember what's in here. It is... Oh, it's a helmet key room. Okay. We shall come back later. Oh! Hit my nose on I'm trying to think. There's only... I think there was only one Resident Evil game where opening the door actually had something come through it. Every other time it's a regular transition. All right, we are almost back to the main floor. We're gonna see Barry again. We're trying to get to the basement. Yeah, I think that's unfortunately past halfway point of the game for this version, which sucks. There we go. Uh, there might actually be an ink ribbon in this room. Oh, I just realized this is a horrible mix of what was in the original game. Ugh. A green book. There is a green book. Botany book. Okay, so this is about killing some of the plants later. The the whip plant. Uh, nothing uncommon. I think there's something on the other side of that bookcase. So that's a door to uh, connect back to the hallway you were in. But right here... Wow, there's nothing? There should have been something here. It's well arranged. Oh, that's okay. And there's also nothing uncommon. Why here. do they have this whole room back there? If the I swear there should have been something else. Like, maybe in a different difficulty there's extra stuff in there? Maybe? And here you are. Alright, uh... Go into your inventory real quick. See if you can combine the 15 clip with the 5 clip. Okay, it does work. Good. Alright. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and move back to the hallway you were in. Down here? Uh, no, uh, go ahead back through the... 
door to get to the connector. There is a green in here for some extra healing. Grab that. We'll have to come back with a lighter for this place to get a map if we want it. Okay. Peace out of here. Yes, I'll mix it. Beautiful. Nope, nope, nope. There we go, okay. there we go. Alright, you're good. Continue. Maybe I'll make the goal to get to forest. Maybe that'll be a good place to... A lot of my brain power is going into my fingers right now, so... Uh, turn back. I'm not gonna head there just yet. So, keep heading down this hallway. We head, just came from... Head through the far door. Down here? Yep. There's still more hallway to explore. Like, I just want to go down the hall in a straight line. Why can I not Oh, do it's that? so hard to do. It's so hard to do with the D-pad. Is everybody in stars drunk or something? Whoa! Uh, turn back. Turn around. And... There's the hallway. That looks important. That does look important. I don't think you can go in it yet. Armor. Armor door. Okay. All right, another zombie. Here it comes. Nice. <laughs> All right, so there was another room there, but that'll that'll happen later. I think that's where the where Yawn is. So I cannot wait until I just pick up the shotgun and it, and it just goes click. Barry. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I think he got two shots left. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong. Where did you get that oh. shotgun? Whoa. Uh you saved me this from the- This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. <laughs> Let's try to find it first, shall we? He's trying to swat a fly. Okay. <laughs> Fucking fly. Let's separate again. Just a moment. <laughs> what is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful. Especially against living things. Better take it with you. Well, what these things are dead, so... So this I weapon know. sucks against yes. zombies. Ah, oh, shit. It's a pizza way. cutter. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you acid rounds now? Don't drink them. <laughs> Alright. Uh, two, two chemists walk into a bar. <laughs> oh, yeah? Waiter asks somebody what they want to drink. One guy, want to be clever, says, I'll have some H2O. The other guy, noticing his joke, says, I'll have, I'll have some H2O, too. Oh, no! <laughs> First guy drinks his glass. <sighs> Second guy drinks his glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. I like that one. That's a much appreciated joke. Um, so head back. Uh, go down. And then uh, on the other side here, there should be a right path. Is there a door there? I don't remember. There is a door here. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, music's kicking in. I wonder if we're... Oh, oh. This might be scary. It's gonna be scary. Be... I don't want to be fighting. Oh, no. It's, gonna it's be Christmas. Fighting. I don't want to be fighting for Christmas. Scary Christmas. It's uh oh, forest. Ah! Oh my god. He's been pecked to death by crows. Actually, it's robins and sparrows, but I can see why you would think that. Ah! All right, get out your handgun. Yeah, handgun's the the winner for this one. Fire, fire, fire. Fuck fire. Yeah. I think you killed one off screen. <laughs> He's stuck in a loop. We got him now. Whoa. Okay, auto, oh, okay. auto aim is on. Okay, he actually can't hurt you. All right. Oh, close, close. I, I think the auto aim is on, which is good. Okay, reload. Yes! <laughs> All 
All right, there is a grenade launcher on the ground, but I don't think you have any inventory space. I think I... well, I mean... Uh, oh, uh, reload. Reload your gun. No, I... no. Hello, I handgun magazine. Go away, <sighs> go away. Triangle's back?! Oh. Ew. Uh, uh. Alright. Pick up that grenade launcher and you've got a brand new weapon there, bucko. It's a good thing Barry gave you ammo for it. Where is it? Uh, right there. Oh, here. Whoosh. Oh, sorry, the bazooka. The bazooka. So I can't remember how to trigger the cutscene where Forrest comes back as a zombie to try and attack Jill. Hey! Come back as a zombie! I think you have to basically, like, skip all this, immediately go upstairs. Like, as soon as you split up with Barry the first time, go immediately upstairs, go get the bazooka, and I think that's when he comes to your rescue. Other than that, you just get crows. Alright. Uh, time to free explore. I'm gonna let you take the helm for a little bit. Wherever you want to go. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, go this way. I think we're on our way to the armor key now. I wanna go somewhere and die. Oh. Ah, fuck that. <laughs> uh, there is something in the statue's hand you need to touch. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Shake him off, shake him off. There we go. Yeah, the, the more you shake off your enemy, the more they'll actually get pushed back. You are an orange caution. Uh, there we go, it worked. Cool. Nice bazooka! Alright. Into this next area. I believe... Path to the left will get you to the armor key. To the left. To the left. That's the to right the left. Idiot. Oh no! Wait, this is slightly different. Nice shot. Nice shot. Shooting acid all over the place. Nice. Ooh, yeah. There's a couple places that you can go. The numeric key panel. I don't know the pass number. Okay, that's different. I don't recall that from any version that I've played, so you need the helmet key for there. Interesting. Oh. <laughs> Go down. It, it finally... Uh oh, no, it, it actually never changed. Stop playing like it's 2023, UDJ! Come, Come on, on, man! Come on, man! Think of the old games! Think of the old games! Yeah! There is a save room uh, right there, yes. Boop. I don't have any anchor ribbons, though, so... I think there should be one in this room. There has to be. This game is too cruel. I'm, I'm a soft baby boy. I can't play this game. Is this on the bed, maybe? I can play 7 and 8, no problem, though. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that little dot you just saw there? Yeah. But you can't carry anything else. I can't else. carry anymore. What am I gonna fucking do? Uh, put your knife in the box, for one. Put a knife in your box. What? What? Knife sucks in this game. It doesn't get good until three, and even then, it's a stretch. Probably the, no, not that. The chemical. The chemical. You will need the chemical coming up here soon, but uh, I don't for, think I'm, for now I we'll go ahead and save. I really don't think I'm going to be playing long enough to need it. <laughs> I really don't think so. <laughs> I mean, we've already gone like four times more than what I've done. In my <laughs> remake. Well, good. Through, so. I'm glad you're able to experience it. Only because I'm like, what do I do? What do, do I, I do? Go? What do I do? Where do I go? Uh, <laughs> All right. Yes, we made it to a save room I farther. <laughs> yes! <laughs> made it to the medicine room. All right. So do you want to keep going, or do you want to say this is enough Resident Evil for me? I'm fine with either. I thought there was splash damage, but... There is not, no. Well, let's just go just a little further. If you're going to go a little farther, go ahead and put the ink ribbon in your box and pick up the chemical again, because I just remember where you are. There we go. All right. Off we go. Yeah. <coughs> Hang on, those again. Sure. As far as I remember, any version of Resident Evil, you kill a monster, it stays dead. So thankfully, we won't have to worry about any of these zombies coming back. You might need to reload your grenade launcher, by the way. Or did it? I reloaded it myself. Oh, okay, okay. That works, that works. 
So straight ahead, that should lead you to where you need to use the Kamichael. Master Arclay, don't you want to have matching doors in your no. mansion? No! Wait the weird doors! But, but sir! So if you head down that hallway where you killed the first zombie, that's where you need to use the chemical. Down here? Yep, down here. Might also be another zombie waiting for you. Nope, not this time. So one method I always used when playing these old Resident Evil games is if you can't see it, if it's off screen, auto aim, and if Jill actually aims towards it, there's a monster. Oops. All right, so we have a giant plant. Having some fun here. Hmm. Oh. Lids open, huh? I know. I'll go ahead and... Like, what, do I just... There we go. That You used your first aid spray. Oh. So now you're fully healed, which is great. But, uh, yes, as soon as you're in front of your destination, go down to the item in question and use. In later games, they say, do you want to use this? Yeah, and that is I, so much better. Yeah, I figure something a bit more uh, contextual would be nice. Like, you know... <laughs> Probably one of the most foul tricks that Resident Evil Remake pulls, and it's kind of funny the first time, really annoying when you fuck it up every other time, is there is a valve you can turn, and if you turn the wrong one in Remake and you use the plant killer, it kills all of these green herbs. <laughs> Oh. But not the monster. <laughs> it's so mean. Ooh. But it's really funny when it happens the first time. You're like, ah, shit. Mansion key. Yay, you got the armor key. And to make sure it's the armor key, you can actually examine it, turn it all the way around, and see if it's actually the armor key. All right, let's go someplace. You also have plenty of green herbs if you wanted them in there. But you still have a double. I'm fine, man. I'm double fine. green. Yeah, man. Uh. Yeah, Daddy-o. We're still doing good over here in the Arclay Mansion. I just noticed this guy has, like, no furniture in here, too. It's it's just doors. Well, look at these hallways. I can't afford it. <laughs> I had to build the craziest mansion ever. If I put a couch in here, well, it's a, it's a fire hazard. Hey, you made a loop. Good job. Where do I go? What do I do? Well, that's up for you to decide. Somebody me. help me. You have an armor know. key, so where did we see doors that needed a special key with armor? Hold on, I'm thinking about it. Where it is, go. Where? Where, 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 where do they go? Where do they go? Let's go. Talking on his side. Let's go. Where, did, where do I go? Let's okay, go. okay, you, you lovely street rat. Allow me to show you where to go next. Uh, go, go ahead and head up the main stairs. Uh, main stairs, take a right. That should lead us to where we need to go. Barry, Wesker, Chris, somebody, anybody, go up the stairs! God, that actually. would actually enhance the experience of Resident Evil if you just go into the main hallway and go, <laughs> Barry! <laughs> ah, yes, still the master of the... Un unlocking. unlocking! Unlocking, yes. yes unlocking yes. true emotions. But unlocking isn't a real... Unlocking, unlocking. Unlocking, yes. Okay, so go through that door. This this door. Yep. Go through that door. Do you remember the big blue door that you said, oh, that must be important? <laughs> no. I that don't remember should, anything. That should be all, where we can use the armor. We all have different doors. <laughs> so it's not that door. That one's for later. Uh, right there. Hey, it worked. I have used the bench. I can't believe I remembered that. I haven't played Resident Evil 1 in so many years. I think the last time I played it is when the HD remakes came out. All right, so before you do anything, go ahead and put those statues over the vents. Otherwise, you're going to get gassed. Oh, good. Yeah, so if you just push up against something, she'll automatically uh, push. Okay. Here we go. Ta-da! And now... I'll just sit on this one. <laughs> You toss your shotgun to push the button in the middle of the room. <clears throat> Ooh, uh, put it just a little oh. bit over to the side again. It's gonna spew poison gas, I understand, but, uh, if, like, do I have time to... 
to push on the vents, or is it like automatically it dead? It kills you pretty quick. There you go. Oh, that's worse. Hmm. Is there a way to do like a half push, I guess? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's that that'll do it. I don't All know right. how picky they are. So push on the button. Oh my god, there's a switch on the floor! Push. Quick, put it in the dock! <laughs> it's running out of battery, quick! Alright, that, I don't even remember what you get in here. It's been a while since I've played this version. Or, I haven't even played Director's Cut. Hey, it's one of the four to, uh, crests that we need to move on. Sweet! Alright, uh, where do you want to go next? I don't know, that was about the only lead I had. Uh, as soon as you come out here, uh, hang a left, or go towards the screen. <laughs> and, uh, head, head, through that, head through that door. <laughs> this door? Uh, either or. You're heading to the same place. <laughs> <laughs> Tears streaming down her face. <laughs> uh, 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 where again? This door? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, head out the other door that is in this room. And then... You, you know, what, what's crazy to me is that we laugh at the jank of this, but this is actually one of the more refined experiences when it comes to that. Isn't that nuts? That's so wild that's, to me. That's disgusting, I'm actually. Because I'm, I'm, I'm remembering uh, that... Uh, door that, down that, the hallway. That one Highlander game for Jaguar CD right that was kind of like this. Yeah, it's, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah, it is. And this evolved into some of the greatest games we've ever played. Maybe even the reason for our Ooh. friendship. You have a choice here. Again, one of the first running gags we had as friends was Forrest and talking as Salazar. <laughs> Hilarious every time. Alright, uh, push the bookcase, and then you should be able to drain the fish tank with the button behind it. There may also be a button in the... in that, uh, bug display. I can't remember. Yeah, it's a little too heavy. So maybe... Can you push that bookcase? Turn left. Yep, yep. Go forward. Turn, turn, turn around. Left, turn left. There. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and push it the other direction. Uh, from the other side. And that should reveal something on the back. I can't really push it from the other... Like... Oh, I guess I, I can't... Really there you go. Me. Ah! Yeah, line it up, line it up. There we go. Tank controls. Oh, shit. We need to move the fish tank first. Okay, that's why they have something like this. So, I think it's the bug display. I'll move the fish tank. <laughs> Oh, wait, the lack of fish, I guess. Okay, so I think what they wanted you to do is to click on the bug display. There's a button, and that would drain the fish tank. You move the fish tank, move the bookcase, and then you can get what's behind it. I think I need to reset the room. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do like some of the camera angles that are in this game. Like, looking over the moose head... Or the deer head is very nice. Again, it's this, this is one of the more refined experiences. So uh, go to uh, bug. Go bug? to bug bugs on walls. Oh, bug. Yep, bug. There should be a button in there. It appears to be a switch. That should drain the fish tank. Then move the fish tank towards the right wall. Hmm, now what do I do with that? <laughs> I love how she's just tapping the bazooka on her right oh, there. Oh, God! There we go. And now the bookcase can go all the way back towards that wall. And... We got a thing! Congratulations. This should be crest number two. As soon as we figure out how to face towards it. Oh, and more ammo. Explosive R. Really? More ammo? That's all that was back here? Wow, okay, I didn't expect that. I could have sworn there was supposed to be a crest there. Uh, how about the other room? There is a room on the other side. And I'm glad I got the explosive rounds. It'll help me survive a bit more. Definitely. Yeah. Horrifyingly. The okay. bean room. Yeah, I think there's just uh, there's a red herb in here, just in case you had a bonus green. And 
Oh, this is where you get the lighter. Oh, okay, okay. What's the lighter do? So we can get a map out of this. Uh, do you remember where the fireplace was? That room? No. Okay, uh, just go ahead and leave here. All these door openings and stair goings, they break up my... They break up the flow of the game. I know, so I, I know. Can't remember. It's all right, man. I've been, what I've done. This is why you got me. I can't. I can't. I'm the huck. <laughs> Head down the hallway. And then go through the door on uh, at the end of this hallway. Oh, go around the corner, <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> Controls like a like a trolley filled with four hundred pounds worth of groceries. All right, uh, go to that. Go to that right there. No, it feels like an ordinary uh, grocery trolley, but one of the wheels is fucked up. There we go. Wooden stove. Paper is on the wall. Go ahead and use the lighter, and you will get a map. Whoa! Wow. It's a map of the second floor. Yeah, I'll take it. You got the map of the tuned floor. All right. That needs a helmet key. We won't get that for a while. I don't think we're ever going to get it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you can, you're can. you allowed to choose your stopping point, by the way. Uh, I don't know. I... D I, I feel like I have an idea of where I'm supposed to go, and then it isn't, and then I... We've already been here. We've already had the... We've already explored both of these rooms. Okay. I think I'm done. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I think I'm done. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, good effort. You made it a lot farther than you did back in the past. Yes, that's true. Good job. I think I would have fared a little better if I had the analog uh, control, but it still would have been tank controls and... Probably would have been worse, actually, because now I've... Well, I, because you're not used to tank controls plus analog control. It'd be easier to manage with uh, with uh, the D-pad, which is why I bet tank controls were made like that in the first place. Mm -hmm. To control uh, using a 2D D-pad to control a 3D character, I suppose. But whatever. Anyway. Still cool to look at something from both of our pasts. I have been waiting a good while. To yep. hand you this present. You have, and I had an educated guess as to what it is. And we'll actually see if I'm correct. We will see. We will see. Because this has been a advent calendar to kind of play goofs on one another. Mm -hmm. And I think the major goof that you gave me, especially since I know what type of game it is, is you gave me Bible Black for Christmas. But I don't think you want to own that game. Whatever you feel like, man. Just let it all play out. I'd like this box box back, please. <laughs> it's a very it's a very nice box. I it is. It. It's such a good Christmas box. I, I know. I love it. I, I really want that back. Oh, I love it. Sta stationery used to be in this. It's not just me saying it. Vice saying it too. Yeah, please, yeah, yeah. please, I want that back. It is a QR code. I gave you a QR code, and uh, the QR code, if you want to follow one home, is this. So. Click on Krampus here. It said Cloudfront. All right. Oh my God! Do you actually own this? Mm. You have ways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's, a <laughs> it's on a flash drive. Holy shit! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Enjoy my Krampus special! <laughs> the trickster shows his hand! <laughs> Thank you.